Hey Virgo, love reading here. Who's thinking about you? Eight of Cups came out. This is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If you find something does, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. It really does help me as a reader. So we have a clear indication here of whoever is that's thinking about you. You guys are in separation or somebody walked away from somebody here, abandoned somebody here. This could be your energy or person's energy. This is definitely someone from the past. One more card. Who's thinking about Virgo? We definitely got um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, King of Pentacles energy can indicate a Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This could be somebody that's stubborn in nature, somebody that is financially stable. Maybe they've got their own business. They're in a managerial position. Yeah. We're going to clarify these cards, okay? There was a lot of passion in this connection, okay? There was a lot of manifestation in this connection. Definitely dealing with someone, I think, who is stubborn. You know, it's a key indication there. Um, they're very financially driven as well. Who wants Virgo? But yeah, unfortunately, I do see a separation here. Who wants Virgo? Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This water sign is quite a supportive energy. They've got a lot of love to give, okay? It's nice to see two kings here. So, you know, we're dealing with people, I think, 30 plus. Whoever is that wants you perhaps wants to take a risk on you. There could be at times like a, like a childlike energy. This person perhaps wants to take a leap of faith, wants a fresh start or just a new beginning with you. This could be a new connection. Ooh, but the Seven of Swords. I don't know if they can necessarily, necessarily be trusted or if it's an energy where you necessarily trust them. Okay, the Seven of Swords is very strategic energy. Okay, it can be quite selfish. It could be somebody that's kind of like got a plan up their sleeve. You know, um, I I almost think sometimes the Seven of Swords energy is someone that is like, you know, I know what I want and I'm going to get it. You know, that kind of, I wouldn't want to say pig headed, very self-assured energy. Okay. Now, yeah, I just think there's some sort of dynamics here. And I feel like this person wants to take a leap of faith with you. However, you've got trust issues around this connection. We will go and clarify. Who is it that has feelings or truly loves Virgo at this time? Who truly loves Virgo? Empress card wanted to come out here. So I feel like this is your energy. It could be a Libra or a Taurus, okay? Whoever it is that truly loves you, I pick up on some sort of breakdown or break up, okay? Somebody patiently waiting here. Someone, I feel like you've got a lot of love to give or you gave a lot of love in this connection. Perhaps you were very patient with this person. This person that truly loves you is man trying to manifest you back into their life, okay? You're coming across as very nurturing, very graceful. They are very much attracted to the way you smell, your body, you know, whether that be your haircut, page of cups wanting to come out here so i'm picking up on a sensitive energy maybe an age gap slightly or maybe more significant perhaps an apology we're gonna go and clarify all of this energy virgo so let's first talk about why is the eight of cups here eight of cups is being clarified by the emperor card the divine masculine energy and also the moon card, cancer energy, okay? So there's fear here. This is somebody, whoever walked away from whoever here, we're dealing with somebody, whether it be your energy or your person's energy, that can be at times egotistical, somebody that likes to wear the trousers, somebody that can be a bit of a hothead, I suppose. There's fear here, there's communication, um, there's fear here, there's confusion here. 
these two cards have already come out so this is somebody and this could be your energy Virgo it could be your person's energy but I feel like there's somebody here that is unable to let somebody go here somebody's unable to release the past here somebody's also almost like fixated on the negative energy kind of feeling quite stuck it's almost there's an energy with the five of cups in reverse that is somebody that cries over spilt milk so for example you know maybe somebody that you walked away from you know that for whatever reason you know i'm sure a valid reason yeah um <sighs> This whole crying over spilt milk, it's like, well, we got here for a valid reason. There's a reason why somebody walked away from somebody here. So why cry over spilt milk? Like, what did you expect? This is somebody that has deep traumatic issues with regards to the past. Now, it could be trust issues, but there is work that needs to be done. This is somebody where old stories become part of them, okay? And you know what, Virgo, this could be your energy as well, where a lack of trust issues, I think on both parties, kind of, um, they become in the present energy, they affect relationships now. The king, oh, just noticing the king and the queen of pentacles on the table, okay? So I almost want to say for some of you guys, two peas in a pod, king of pentacles why is the king of pentacles here tell me more about this king of pentacles this is it's being clarified by the six of swords and the eight of swords this is somebody that i feel again there's distance between you guys somebody didn't want to face somebody here face the truth um i'm seeing the hanging man here as well so there's this energy of letting go either needing to let go or um just an, a letting go energy a lot of things have changed here between you guys someone feels quite stuck though it could be you that's feeling quite stuck or your person why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here Okay, so I feel like there's somebody here that wants to cooperate with you, Virgo. However, I feel like maybe you've come out of something recently or um, you're, you're, you're in fear of betrayal, being let down. Ten of Swords shows me that some of you guys, you know, your, your mental health has been affected for whatever reason and you're trying to work on that. You're trying to, maybe you're being asked to keep the faith. For some of you, not everybody, remember this is for entertainment purposes only. This person sees an opportunity with you and maybe there is an opportunity, okay? But I feel like a lot of you guys definitely kind of I don't know. It's, there's a lot of paranoia here, Virgo, and I reckon it's for good energy, um, for good reason, right? Interesting. Yeah, with, rever with regards to who is it that wants you, very interesting energy here. Maybe you're being asked to take the leap of faith. I don't know, Virgo. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? So... The five of pentacles is clarified by the six of pentacles. So I feel like a lot of you guys are trying to move into an energy where it's like there needs to be a 50-50 here. Maybe you were giving and you wasn't receiving. You're wanting a two-way of abundance, you know. I feel like this person's actually realizing perhaps that they didn't give as much as you gave. Okay, it's not going to be for everybody. Why is the five of pentacles here? Queen of Swords in reverse. There's an energy where I think your person um, or a person is thinking, you know, Virgo, you're being mean to me. Maybe you were mean. Yeah, maybe you were mean. Four of Cups in reverse. Something here, to some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Maybe the month of July or August has some sort of significance here. This is somebody that I feel um, is focusing on the negative rather than the positives of stuff. Now, Virgo, that could be your energy. Only you would know, all right? Why is the Strength card here? I'm going to do another love reading and see what's coming towards Virgo. 
um, somebody's realizing something here. Maybe they're realizing that you were actually very kind. You've been very patient with them. Perhaps this person is realizing that they're quite smug. Okay. They're realizing that they didn't give you <sighs> the attention that I think a lot of you guys deserved. Okay. This is somebody that is realizing that actually, um, I am quite selfish I am quite smug. I didn't appreciate Virgo when I had Virgo. This is not what I wanted to happen between us. This is not the way I want things to end. This is, um, there's a lot of resentment here. There's a lot of self-doubt. This person maybe realizes that they doubted you. This person perhaps made you feel like you wasn't good enough at times, okay? You guys weren't seeing eye to eye. These are all the things that they, um are realizing here maybe they judged you wrong maybe they were thinking that this wasn't going to become something serious maybe you met this person online or through a friend <sighs> anyway virgos i'm going to leave it there of course it's not going to resonate with everybody please remember to smash the thumbs button if you find that it does i really do appreciate it you can book me for a personal follow me on the socials and catch me for live tarot let me take this opportunity to thank you guys for the continued support it is really valued all right and um yeah keep your head up Ooh, child things are gonna get easier be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound baby Mwah.